This snippet is Adding Deep Zoom Content to a Web Page in Expression Web. My name is Jeremy Osborne, presenting from AGI Training from Microsoft. In this snippet, you'll learn how to add Deep Zoom Silverlight content to your web page in Expression Web. Deep Zoom technology allows users to smoothly zoom and pan through a series of images on a web page. Before you get started, a quick overview of the Deep Zoom technology. In order to create Deep Zoom content, you'll need the Deep Zoom Composer. Currently, this is a free download on the Microsoft website. For the purposes of this snippet, we're not really interested in how you create Deep Zoom content. However, if I jump into Deep Zoom for just a moment and then click on the Export tab, the most important piece to realize when you're exporting a Deep Zoom project is the way you export it. So you have a couple of different options here. In this snippet, we're interested in the Silverlight Deep Zoom output rather than the Ajax output or the Images output. So with that in mind, let's go back to Expression Web. And now we'll open the site that contains all our files. Let's choose Site, Open Site, click Browse. And we're going to locate this folder, adding Deep Zoom content to Expression Web. And then we're going to select the Lucerne Site subfolder and choose Open. Once we do that, we see all the files associated with this site. Let's double click on the gallery.html page to open it. So here below this heading, Our Gallery, is where we'll be adding our Deep Zoom content. Keep in mind that the top half of the screen is currently occupied with a Silverlight application that contains our navigation as well as a slideshow. Let's go ahead and click under that heading and then choose Insert, Media, Deep Zoom. Then I'm going to locate the folder associated with the snippet called Adding Deep Zoom Content. And we're interested in this folder labeled Books. So this is the project file that was created by Deep Zoom Composer. We need to do a little detective work in order to find the file that we need. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you can see that Expression Web is looking for a file labeled dzcoutput.xml. So this is just an XML file. However, finding it might be a little tricky if you don't know where to look. Let's double click on the Books folder, and then let's look within the Deep Zoom Project Web folder, and then Client Bin, Generated Images, and there we have it, DZC Output. Click on that file and choose Open. Once you do that, you'll know you're successful when you see the Insert Deep Zoom window. Now here we have a few options. The Insert method can be Auto Detect or Silverlight only. It can also be Ajax only. So we saw this output option earlier in the Deep Zoom Composer itself. In our case, we'll use Silverlight only. Keep in mind that we can change the width and height as needed. The default width and height of 640 by 480 will suit our needs. Down at the very bottom, we have the option to change the zoom speed. So as you'll see with deep zoom content, a user can zoom in and out of an image, and this allows us to change the speed at which they can do so. Let's go ahead and click OK. It'll take a few moments, and then our deep zoom content will be added. If you get this message asking you to overwrite a silverlight.js file, go ahead and click Yes. This is because we already have silverlight content on this page. And if we look carefully here, we can see in our folder list, we have a new folder labeled Deep Zooms. I'm going to click on the plus sign to the left of that to expand it. And here's that DZC output that we just added. Now it's going to be tricky to see our Deep Zoom content on our page because it's using a white placeholder. However, if I click beneath the gallery section, we can see that object tag that contains the Deep Zoom content. Let's go ahead and look at it in our web page by choosing File, Preview in Browser. Go ahead and save your document. Now scroll down if necessary and locate the gallery section. So here's your Deep Zoom content. And if you haven't worked with Deep Zoom before, we can see how it works. Right now I'm clicking on this gallery of books here. And using my mouse wheel, I can zoom in. Because Deep Zoom uses high resolution images, we can zoom in to sections of our books. Additionally, we can click and drag through this gallery to see the detail. You might notice in the bottom right hand corner we also have controls. So in addition to using the mouse wheel, we can also use the plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. We can press the home key to return to the home view. And last but not least, we can click on the full screen view and the deep zoom will take over our entire screen. In order to zoom here, we can click on any section and we'll simply zoom in. If you'd like to go back to your web page, go ahead and press escape. So there you have it. You've learned how to import Deep Zoom content into your Expression web page. Thank you for now. This is Jeremy Osborne presenting from AGI Training for Microsoft.